speech is unbelievably powerful. Unfortunately, the unbelief part is what steals the power of our speech. Throughout scripture, Jesus tells us to speak it into being. He refers to blessings, healing, faith, and power. What continues to get in our way is our own unbelief. I so strongly believe in my own responsibility to encourage and to bless others. You'll notice I switched from you to me, and for good reason. When I speak of personal responsibility, I have no knowledge nor permission to speak of yours. So I will focus on my own and pray that you can apply the concepts to your own life and see where you are in relation to God's plan for your life and for your development into the person he knows you can be. In my family, I was the second child of two. My older sister excelled in academics to the exclusion of almost all other experiences in school and was known as an excellent student. I apparently chose to express myself through involvement in music and many other extracurricular activities and accepted the label of a good student as being good enough. What I especially remember is that I never felt particularly encouraged or acknowledged by anyone in my family, even though I accomplished so much more than so many others in my life at that time. I believe that occasional words of encouragement could have enriched my self-image and may have avoided periods of self-doubt that stayed with me for a long time. When someone in your life accomplishes even the smallest of personal goals, it costs you nothing to say, I am so proud of you, you've really done a good job, or offering words of encouragement like, don't be discouraged, you know you can do it. Just don't give up. You'll see results soon. Years ago, I believed that my husband would really get to know me and would be disappointed with his choice in life. Imagine my amazement as he became my strongest and best encourager. He is always there at just the right time with words of support and a warm hug. Just when I'm feeling discouraged and ready to quit a project, he'll put into words his belief in me and remind me of how strong I am. Who knew? But the magic to his support and his love is that he speaks it out loud and we both hear it. So what can you do to encourage or to bless someone today? You may not even have anyone else in your household and may not see anyone nearby to bless. But the next time you see someone struggling with loading their groceries in the car, or having difficulty picking up the change they've dropped at the checkout line. Step out of your comfort zone and offer to help. Your act of kindness may be the encouragement or support they need at that moment in time. This is Marlene Sparrow, and I'm just praying for you to be able to encourage and bless others and to receive encouragement and blessing in your life too. And God bless you.